with regards to the rationale first, we know from two randomized trials that radiation can delay the progression of metastatic prostate cancer if you give it uh, over nothing. Um, we also know that hormone therapy up front for metastatic prostate cancer can result in an overall survival benefit versus delayed hormone therapy. And finally, radiation therapy and hormone therapy can synergize together. Now, there has never been a study looking at adding radiation therapy on top of hormone therapy for metastatic prostate cancer. So we, we sought to investigate this, and we did that through a randomized uh, phase two trial in which we enrolled patients, uh, both arms got hormone therapy through an intermittent fashion where they stopped hormone therapy at the at six months after randomization and then restarted at time progression. However, the experimental arm had radiation therapy to all sides of the disease and, um, and, and then continue with the hormone therapy. And then the, the control arm was just hormone therapy by itself. At uh, the primary analysis, which was specified to be at 41 events, um, and those met, we found that addition of radiation therapy led to a substantially longer improvement in progression-free survival, uh, which directly translates to more time off hormone therapy uh, versus no radiation therapy. And a key secondary endpoint was what we call Ugonad progression-free survival, which is time that men from achieving a Ugonad testosterone until progression, which they started with hormone therapy. But that time was also extended significantly with the use of radiation therapy on top of the intermittent hormone therapy strategy. So it, I think it's a big win for men with oligometastatic cancer as it allows them potentially a very long duration off of hormone therapy, which all men with cancer and otherwise really just hate.